Hi guys, my name is Annalise Christine. Welcome to my channel if you are new and welcome back if you've seen one of my videos before. I am in a new location, so let me know how you like it. Today, I'm going to be doing my 2021 makeup empties. At the end, I will be sharing my nail polish. If you've been watching my project polish, you would have seen most of them, but there's a few that you haven't seen. So we're just gonna jump right in. I don't think I started keeping my empties until maybe April, May time, but I do have 19 products to show you. We're gonna start with the eyeshadow because I find that very exciting. Um, and the first one is this trio, Smashbox trio in filter. If you watch my pan that palette, then you know that it got ruined at the end, but I used 99% of it. The next one is the Coastal Eyes Stylize, little duo, really pretty colors, pretty easy and simple to use up. The next one was the LA Colors Eyeshadow in Chic. It was a palette. These were so old and very, very powdery, so they went so quickly. There was only one shade that stuck around and it was a highlighting shade. So the rest of them went so quickly. The next one is one that I've been working on forever. There's like no words on it anymore, but I know it's a Color Me Glow and I believe there's 12 shadows in it, but they were all shimmery. Um, again, so old. This one had a decent amount of pigmentation, um, but I'm really, really happy this got used up. The last one got used up towards the beginning of the year. I've been working on it for so long and it is the e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. There's like 32, the Geo. Looks like this. Um, I'm really, really, really excited to have all of the eyeshadow done because if you watched my flashback inventory, I would definitely recommend you would know my 2022 Pan That Palette already and you would see that I have a lot of eyeshadow, but I've been working through it. The next eye product is an eye primer base and it is the color Tattoo in Silver Strike. It was what it sounded like, just a silver color. I like silver jewelry better, but I like gold tones on my skin better. It's very strange. Um, yeah, I liked this. This just wasn't a color that I would go for again. For mascara, I feel like my mascaras hang on forever. Um, I don't know why, but I feel like that. So I have two mascaras and then a primer. The two mascaras are the Smashbox Super Fan. So it was just a lengthening mascara. I liked it. Wasn't my favorite. Wasn't something like amazing that I would purchase it. This next one was the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. It was more volumizing and a bit lengthening. I did really like this. I don't know if I would spend the full size price on this, if that makes sense. Um, I'd rather just try out new mascaras. The last thing is this primer and it was a gift. It was the Lancome CILS Booster XL. I love this. I've never had an eyeshadow or eyelash primer before. I love this. It made my mascara stay on all day long. I don't need that right now though, so I probably wouldn't um, purchase this. But if I ever did need my mascara to stay all day long, I would 100% think about purchasing this because it was so great. Now, like I said, I do not have any other eyelash primers to compare this to. So maybe I would try one of those. I don't know, this was just really great. The last eye product is an eyebrow product and it is the NYX Fill and Fluff in clear. <laughs> it was, had just like a wax on one side. So I would fill my eyebrows in with like pencil or shadow and put this on and it would make it stay. Again, all day long, just like the primer, it was amazing. I would definitely purchase this if I needed it to stay all day long and I was using a pencil or shadow eyebrow product. For 2022, I'm doing a lip product project pan because I have so many lip products. Again, watch my flashback inventory, you will see. And last year I only finished up three. I'm really happy I finished up three because two of them have been hanging on forever. And the first one of those two was the Revlon Colorstay Mineral Lip Glaze in Timeless Nude. I loved this color. Love the color, love the formulation but it stuck around so long. Um, so there's that one. The next one that I put in multiple projects and it's finally gone is the Wet n Wild Glassy Gloss in Mow the Glass. 
just looks like this. It was not orange on your lips. It was just a clear gloss, it was super sticky. Um, so I wouldn't purchase it again. The last one was one I really, really liked and it was the Stila Lip Glaze in Action. Just looks like this. Again, the color was perfect. Um, that's why I used it up because it was so easy just throw on my lips. My 2022 lip product project pan should be coming or just about up. Um, I will try and link it down below so you can check it out. And so hopefully I have more lip products to show you next year. On to face products. I finished up one, what we'll call highlighter because that's what I used it as. And that is the e.l.f. Mineral Blush in Pinktastic. You can kind of see what it would look like, but it's all gone. I love this. It reminded me so much of the of the Benefit highlighter, I believe in Cindy. Um, I have it, but I love this. The next thing is a blush and it is a cream blush, Maybelline Bouncy Blush and Hot Tamale. It was so bright and it was kind of hard to uh, blend in. So, so it made it really difficult and I didn't like the texture of this. So I wouldn't repurchase that. The next thing is the Avon Smooth Minerals in Radiance. I am happy to have this done. It was a beautiful color, um, but again, I just have a lot of blushes, so it makes me excited to finish things up. The first one is the e.l.f. Concealer, Hydrating Camo Concealer. I liked it for underneath my eyes. I don't have terrible under eye circles, so, um, yeah, I just need a thicker concealer for other parts of my face. The next thing is the Burt's Bees BB Cream in Light. I like this. It just wasn't my favorite. It needed a touch more coverage. I know it's a BB cream, but I would still prefer it to have just a touch more <laughs> coverage. Not a ton, but anyways, I did really like that. I would think about repurchasing it. Um, my skin just has some problem areas that just needs a touch more. <laughs> the last one is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. I really liked it. It did a great job. However, I have switched to rose water because I'd like to have a little bit more natural things on my face. Um, so yes, I like this, but the rose water seems to be doing a fabulous job as well. So now on to nail polish. There was eight nail polish, and if you've been watching my project polish, you know I've been trying to use up my julep polishes. There was one that I got that I absolutely loved, but the rest of them just weren't my favorite. So, um, and my favorite I used up years ago now, so these were not. The first one was Ellie. It was a really pretty color. I just don't like the formula very much. Um, the next one was kind of similar and it was in Kylie. Again, it's pretty, just not the formula I like. The next one I've had for so long, and it's Love My Nails in Envy. I like this color, it just didn't stay on very much. I don't even think they make this um, brand anymore. I've looked for it because I really liked another one. The next one is this Miss Pedicure in Red. It dried up. Um, it was okay, but it wasn't great, so. The next one is by Avon and it is in Minted. I love this color. I have a few different brands with the same color. Um, I really liked this formula for opaqueness. It needed one, maybe two coats, but the lasting power just wasn't there. Um, so I wouldn't purchase that again. I think it's an older formula anyways, because I've had that for a very, very long time. The next one is LA Colors Nail Polish in this blue color. I got it recently, um, but it was just so small and so easy to use up. I liked this blue. I'm trying to figure out what colors I'd like in like my ultimate nail polish collection. And I just don't know if this is one of them. It's in a contention, but I wouldn't get that one because the LA colors just chipped on my nails super easily. The next one is one I loved the color. It was supposed to be color changing. I didn't notice it. It's the Ruby Wings um, nail polish. And I, it was this bright all the time and I loved it. I loved, loved, loved the bright pink. So I definitely want a bright pink. Um, this was supposed to be color changing, so I probably wouldn't get this specific one again, but the neon pink I was here for. The last one that I finished up in 2021 is the Ruffian Nail Polish and Hedge Fund. I really liked this color. It reminded me of the Chrome one. Um, this stayed on my nails a little bit better than that one, but 
still just not my favorite formula so I wouldn't purchase it again. So those were all my empties for 2021. I know it was a lot but I'm hoping 2022 has even more empties because I'm really focused starting from the new year. So we'll see if we can make more progress than 19 makeup products and eight nail polish for 2022. Wish me luck.